Hello, this is Walter Hollowell. This is part seven of the Triumph TR6 race car engine buildup. So where we are today is we have the short block almost completed. Uh, the rotating assembly is in place. Everything's torqued to spec. You can see that the pistons are at uh, flush with the top of the deck. That's called zero clearance. Camshaft bearings have been installed. They're pre-lubricated. The oil pan is installed with a uh, crank scraper, baffles and flap doors. And you can see where I've added some depth to the oil pan. We already covered this, I'm doing it again. My oil pressure relief spring is installed with a little spacer to give it a little bit of extra PSI on the oil. We don't want too much. Tonight, I'll be rotating the, the block 90 degrees so that I can more easily put the camshaft in. This is my racing camshaft, which is a grind. It's a full race grind by Cass Caster. It's called a 320F. I've um, used it twice before, and I like it a lot. Here's the profile of the camshaft. May not be the most radical in the world, but it works for me. A couple of people have mentioned that they want information about my adapter plate for the engine stand so that the engine stand bolts to the side of the block instead of the rear. Um, and I've sent them the specs, so the technical drawings, no charge. But if you would like to buy one of these, and it includes the grade 8 hardware, you can go to eBay Motors and look at uh, Triumph TR6 engine stand adapter plate, and you can just buy them right from there. Once again, if you want to send me an email, here's my email address. So this particular episode is not all that long. I'm just kind of getting you ready. We're almost finished with turning this into a short block. In the next episode, we're going to start preparing to install the cylinder head and talk about the racing cylinder head, which is kind of complicated. This is part seven, and we're out.